Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Yonks. Today, I'll be showing you guys the fourth horseman. This is an exotic shotgun and I did pick one of these up for my 50 exotic ingram openings video. But anyway guys, let's get right into it. The first thing I am going to do with the fourth horseman is compare with the invective. So we do get a better idea of the stats on the fourth horseman. So let's take a look and compare. Now as you can see, the invective has less rate of fire, more impact, a lot more range, less stability, more reload, and less in the mag. All right, so this is a high rate of fire shotgun with decent impact, but it has terrible range. As you can see, that bar is barely even there, guys. Now, let's get into it. Now, all the fourth horsemen will be arc damage, and mine dropped at 310. Okay, now let's get into the perks here. Thunder Herb. This weapon can be fired in full auto mode. That is like the perk that this shotgun does come with. Now, CQB Ballistics here. We got our sights. Accurized Ballistics, which will increase my impact just a tiny bit and increase my range as well and decrease my stability. And Field Choke, which will do the same. So, I usually go with Accurized Ballistics for that. And it doesn't really matter. Field Choke is basically the same, but you get a little more stability with Accurized Ballistics. Now, we have Final Round. The last round in a mag deals bonus damage. Never a bad thing to have on a shotgun. All right. Fitted stock, increased weapon stability, hand loaded. This weapon is effective at an extended range and speed reload. Reload this weapon quickly. All right. So I usually go with hand loaded here for that even more range. So the range went from that to that. All right. It, it's a quite a significant difference. Still not great but certainly better than what it was. But that's what I would recommend, guys, hand-loaded. But remember, guys, if you want to go fitted stock, that wouldn't be a terrible choice to keep that gun stable because it does bounce around a lot because you could fire this gun so, so fast. Anyway, the last perk here, return to sender. Kills with this weapon have a chance to grant bonus ammo to the mag. All right, not too bad. Now let's take a look at the aesthetics. All right, guys, it looks like kind of like an old school shotgun here. It looks badass. Anyway, let's get right into the gameplay. So the very first thing I did with the fourth horseman was take it to the Ultra Knight here in the Dreadnought to see how fast I could possibly put him down. And man, I put him down fast. It only took me three seconds using seven shots, and I was ranging 4,000 to 5,500 damage per headshot. Anyway, guys, we're moving right along to PvP, and sometimes I like to call the fourth horseman the super destroyer, so I put all my clips of me killing enemies in their supers at the beginning here of my PvP footage, so you do get an idea of what the fourth horseman can do at very close range, killing an enemy, no matter what super they're in, no matter what overshield they have. It is very, very effective at very close range, and it's completely satisfying taking an enemy out in their super. So I had a ton of fun using the fourth horseman. Horseman. You just have to use this thing in the right situation. My favorite was arc bladers for sure. And as you can see, the rate of fire on this thing is absolutely absurd. This shotgun was not meant to one shot in the crucible. You can one shot, especially with that last round, you can one shot, but you have to be extremely close. So most of the time you will find yourself spamming this shotgun. I promise you that guys, you will be spamming and your ammo will be going very, very quickly with this shotgun. So if you guys are going to rock the 4th Horseman in PvE or PvP, I would highly recommend you to wear some armor that will provide you with additional shotgun ammo because you will find yourself ammo depleted a lot of the times using the 4th Horseman, especially if you're using this as your primary source of damage. Also, I would not recommend going into a shotgun battle against somebody using a conspiracy theory because most of the times they will get that one shot kill off you before you get close enough to do the proper damage in order to kill them first. Overall, I still had a great time with the fourth horseman and I do think it's more of a fun slash troll weapon than it is of a serious weapon to use, especially in PvP, but it is still very, very good if you do know how to use it right against enemy supers and all that. Also, I think this is more of a PvE weapon than it is PvP, and that is because of the ridiculous DPS capabilities that this shotgun does have, like I showed you against the Ultra Knight. This can absolutely burn majors and bosses in PvE. So I would certainly say that and leave in the comments guys if you think this is more of a PvE weapon than PvP like I do. Also guys let me know if you think this is worth the exotic slot. Personally I do not think it is worth it when it comes to a serious matter but if I was just trying to have some fun and use different weapons and be different I would totally use the fourth horseman. 
Anyway, guys, that's really it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video and suffer the support. I'd highly appreciate it.